And still ahead, you're looking at an unmanned aerial vehicle made right here in Southern California. This is the video feed coming from it. You can see me down here with a fully automatic assault rifle. Am I the enemy? Am I a civilian? That's what the military is trying to figure out with these new kinds of vehicles. We'll have an inside look straight ahead. Turning now to technology and information is priceless on the battlefield. And that certainly was true in ancient times and even more so now. KTLA's Dave Malkoff found some of the U.S. military's smallest spy drones flying over Simi Valley. Under the summer sun here in the California desert, you might find someone picking more than just spicy peppers out of this field. So we're basically uh, walking out into the uh, jalapeno field here where the wasp landed. What just crash landed here? Didn't even come apart. Does it look fine? Looks great. Is one of the U.S. military's smallest spy planes. The buzzing you hear is the WASP's artificial intelligence shifting the avionics yeah. inside. You can actually check them by moving the aircraft around. It's trying to ride itself at all times. Weighing in at one pound, no ounces. We're going to watch the WASP. The WASP has no weapons on board. It's purely an eye in the sky. My name's Steve Gitlin. I'm corporate vice president with AeroVironment. Steve's with the Southern California company that builds a line of spy drones flying every day over a rock in Afghanistan. I can't even see where it is right now. Small, battery powered, and quiet. You can barely tell it from the neighborhood hawks. If you don't know it's there and you're not looking for it. But we know it's there and the insurgents know it's there. They've taken gunfire before and they're very durable and you're able to bring it back, tape it up, and get ready to go again. The Puma has a wingspan of eight feet. It weighs 13 pounds. It's about as large as you can get and still be hand launchable. Since the U.S. military just ordered $65 million in Puma systems, we decided to test one out from 300 feet up. He's the operator. The video from the Puma gets streamed from the airplane to this ground control station. One of the problems with fighting insurgency is telling who is the enemy and who's just a civilian walking around? Hey, look, I've got two things in my hand. One is a branch, one is a fully automatic assault rifle. Now, from far away in the heat of battle, it's hard to tell which is which. But if we go upstairs and take a video feed from the Puma above me, which I can definitely see and kind of sounds like a bee flying around me, that's all I hear, you can zoom in and see what is in my hand. Is it a branch or is it an assault rifle ready to fire? The onboard video camera can see in the dark, survive a routine crash landing, and be ready to launch again as soon as the troops on the ground need to know what's over that hill. They can do it themselves, gather real-time intelligence. Now, it is true in that part of the world, many civilians do walk around carrying weapons. So you have to match this video with good old-fashioned ground intelligence. And they can do it from a safe place. A relatively safe place, hunting insurgents in another desert, far from this Simi Valley pepper farm. Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News. Neat stuff. Interesting look, as always. We want to talk about a career achievement <laughs> for someone who really is a reporter and she occasionally plays one in primetime TV dramas like earlier tonight on TNT's The Closer. Take a look at a tough-as-nails TV <laughs> journalist out to get answers. Chief Johnson, is this a murder investigation? Well, the arrival of major crimes from the LAPD signals uh, just how violent of an end this is for another Hollywood dream as the man from the city of churches ends his life in the city of angels. And we're clear. I guess we can uh, send the rattlesnake guy home. <laughs> we're all we're laughing, and we're clear. We never You're say that, yourself, right? right? <laughs> I love it. Good stuff. Uh, you had a good time. It was, out there? it was great. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But the end, we clear part, right? <laughs> I can't deliver that line. <laughs> you delivered it just fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know about that. You're playing I'll yourself. Stick to this. <laughs> You're playing yourself. All right. How hard can it be? It was cool. We got to KTLA there and everything. A lot of people yeah. watched, which was cool. So very good. Yeah, all right, you guys. Getting the rap. We're getting the. We're getting. The, the, are we clear? Yeah. We're clear. <laughs> we're clear. There you go.